Please welcome Michaela Taufer, SC19 General Chair, Jack Dongara Professor in High Performance Computing, the University of Tennessee. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Denver. Welcome to SC19. HPC is now. These three little words are the theme of this year's conference. Three little words that represent a major impact in the life of everybody. And this year at the conference, we will not only learn the latest discovery of our evolving field, but also celebrate the countless way in which HPC is improving our lives, our community, our world. The road to SC19 has started a long time ago, three years ago, and it has been a long journey that started with more than 700 volunteers. Along the way, we reached out to many of you to ask what HPC is now means to you. I have learned a lot from you in our discussions, like how HPC is now impacting virtually every industry and research area around the globe. And based on your contributions, we have in the past 12 months strived to connect with you in a variety of ways, through regular tweets, ideas from student volunteers, startup sharing story of their work, and monthly blog. And I am truly amazed by the wide-ranging and impactful work that is bringing HPC to the front of industry, services, education, and communities. Through the interviews posted on our blog, we learn from some of the top researchers across the globe how HPC is playing a critical role in cancer research, the development of connected and autonomous vehicles, predicting the occurrence and impact of natural disaster, understanding how the universe was formed, exploring high-performance molecular dynamic and visualization, and optimizing the impact of AI and machine learning technology. So many talented scientists across the wide range of exciting field of research all connected by high-performance computing. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. During SC19, through paper presentation, through tutorial and workshop, plenary session, and this keynote, award presentation, the exhibits, and the rest of this amazing program at SC19, we will discover together so much more about the new, exciting, impactful ways that HPC is making a difference in our lives. To help you navigate SC19, you can keep the conference program in the palm of your hand with our new mobile apps. Download the apps and use it to connect with attendees and exhibits exhibitors, plan your week, and navigate this incredible conference. While navigating SC19, keep in mind that SC19 is your program, a program for you, made by you, whether you are a volunteer or a presenter, an exhibitor or an attendee, a student volunteer or an award winner. And there are many of you so many people have worked together to make SC possible. SC19 app is happening because of many of you. We have more than 700 volunteers, 370 exhibitors, 1,150 presenters, and 13,300 attendees. I would like to recognize my SC19 committee members for their hard work this year. Please stand for a round of applause. <laughs> a 
SC19 celebrate your talent and through the conference we will recognize members of our community advancing HPC. I look forward to the award ceremony on Thursday at 12.30 in the same ballroom where award will be given to several of you, including the Gordon Bell Award, the best paper and best student paper, the best poster, the ACM student research competition, and many more. Join me to celebrate the talent here at SC19 on Thursday. Today, it is my honor to join our sponsor, ACM and IEEE Computer Society, as we announce three major awards in HPC, the ACM IEEE CS Ken Kennedy Award, the IEEE CS Simon Cray Computer Engineering Award, and the IEEE CS Sydney Fernbach Award. To tell you more and present these awards, please welcome IEEE Computer Society 2018 President Hironori Kazahara and the IC ICM 2019 President Sherry Pancake. No, we swap places. I need this. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michaela. It's an honor to be here today to recognize three individuals who have distinguished themselves as truly extraordinary in their accomplishment and the contribution to high-performance computing. Our first award of the morning is the ACM IEEE Computer Society Ken Kennedy Award. The ACM IEEE Computer Society Ken Kennedy Award honors outstanding contributions to programmability or productivity in high-performance computing together with significant community service or mentoring contributions. This award was established in memory of Ken Kennedy, the founder of Rice University's nationally ranked computer science program. The 2019 ACM IEEE Computer Society Ken Kennedy Award is presented to Dr. Jeffrey Charles Fox of Indiana University. Dr. Fox received a PhD in theoretical physics from Cambridge University, where he was senior wrangler. He is now a distinguished professor of engineering, computing, and physics at Indiana University, where he is the director of the Digital Science Center. Dr. Fox has supervised the PhD of 73 students and published around 1,300 papers, over 520 of which with at least 10 citations in physics and computing, with an H index of 78 and over 36,000 citations. He is a fellow of APS and ACM and works on the interdisciplinary interface between computing and applications. Dr. Fox's current applications work spans biology, pathology, sensor clouds, ice sheet and earthquake science, and particle physics. His architecture research involves high-performance computing enhanced with software-defined big data systems on clouds and clusters with open-source software, Twister 2. He is an expert on streaming data, robot cloud interactions, deep learning applied to geospatial time series, and to improve performance and capabilities of large-scale computations called ML around HPC. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome this year's recipient of the ACM IEEE Computer Society Ken Kennedy Award and a longtime contributor to the SC Conference Series, Jeffrey Charles Fox. Jeffrey, stand. Our next award is the IEEE Computer Society Sydney Fanback Award. The IEEE Computer Society Sydney Fernbach Award honors the memory of one of the pioneers in high performance computers. Established in 1992, the award is given to an individual in recognition of outstanding contributions in the application of high performance computers using innovative approaches. The 2019 IEEE Computer Society Sydney Fernbach Award is presented to Dr. Alan Edelman of MIT. 
Dr. Edelman is a professor of applied mathematics and leads the Julia Laboratory in the Computer Science and AI Laboratory at MIT and is also chief scientist at Julia Computing. Dr. Edelman works on high performance computing, numerical computation, linear algebra, random matrix theory, and geometry. Dr. Edelman loves algorithms, theorems, compilers, DSLs and old-fashioned performance tuning, but he feels that HPC has missed out for too long on the key intellectual ingredient that would make all the difference, language. Julia was invented to prove that HPC's biggest challenges could be solved with language. The Julia Project with Jeff Besenson, Stefan Karpinski, Viral Shaw, and now thousands of contributors have proven the result. Today, the Julia Project is used in universities, companies, and government agencies for solving difficult and large-scale problems. Dr. Edelman has received the Gordon Bell Prize, the Householder Prize, the Chauvenet Prize, Best Paper Prizes, and the Charles Babbage Award. He is a fellow of IEEE, AMS, and SIAM. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me congratulate the 2019 ITP Computer Society Sydney Fanback Awards recipient, Alan Edelman. Well, congratulations. Thank you much. Congratulations. Our final award is the ITP Computer Society Seymour Cray Award, Seymour Cray Computer Engineering Award. The IEEE Computer Society Seymour Cray Computer Engineering Award was established in 1997 to honor the memory of Seymour Cray. The award is presented for innovative contributions to high performance computing systems that best exemplify the creative spirit demonstrated by Seymour Cray. The 2019 IEEE Computer Society Seymour Cray Computer Engineering Award is presented to Dr. David B. Kirk, formerly of NVIDIA. Dr. Kirk served as Chief Scientist and VP of Architecture and later as a Fellow at NVIDIA. He is currently an independent consultant and advisor and serves on several nonprofit and for profit boards. He received his PhD in Computer Science with a minor in Computation and Neural Systems in 1993 and Master's in Computer Science in 1990 from Caltech. He also received Master's and Bachelor's degrees in Mechanical Engineering from MIT. Dr. Kirk has long been known for his contributions to graphics hardware and graphics algorithm research. More recently, he has focused on computer science education, advancing parallel programming, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Dr. Kirk received the 2002 Computer Graphics Achievement Award from ACM Seagraph and in 2006 was elected to the National Academy of Engineering. In 2009, he was recognized with Caltech's Distinguished Alumni Award. He is the inventor or co-inventor of nearly 100 patents in the areas of computer graphics and graphics hardware. Ladies and gentlemen, join with me in congratulating the 2019 ITP Computer Society Seymour Cray Award winner. David B. Kirk. Congratulations. Please welcome back to the stage, Michaela Taufer. Fifty years ago, the Apollo astronaut landed on the moon for the first time. That achievement was made possible by women and men using the most advanced technology computing power of that time. I like to think that outer space is not the boundary of our imagination, that humankind can go beyond, and that HPC is our key to the universe. Yesterday it was the moon, today it is Mars. 
Humankind has spent more than 5,600 days exploring Mars with two unmanned rovers. These NASA machines, guided by computing power, made it possible for scientists to access their finding from as far as 250 million miles away. Mars also played an important role in the student cluster competition reproducibility initiative this year. Students have been challenged to reproduce and expand the result of a paper from SC18 by building several models of Mars based on satellite data collected by NASA. Don't miss the amazing visualization of Mars at the booth 1299 on the exhibit floor with the student cluster competition. And now, I want to share with you my excitement about how HPC has moved to the edge to enable the exploration of Mars. And the person that makes that excitement contagious is our SC19 keynote, Dr. Stephen Squires. Between 2004 and 2018, mankind spent more than 5,600 cumulative days exploring Mars. Yet the principal investigator on those missions never needed a spacesuit. Dr. Stephen Squires is best known for his work on NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Project. Controlled by computers and software over 250 million miles away, the two high-tech robotic rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, examine the terrain of Mars, searching for signs of water or life. Dr. Squires has made great contributions to science and exploration during his years as a research scientist at NASA's Ames Research Center before returning to Cornell University as the James A. Weeks Professor of Physical Sciences. Please welcome to the stage our keynote speaker, Dr. Stephen Squires.